Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So every six months, I make a video on my account where I show my roster. And as you can see off to the right hand side, I have a breakdown of my six stars. And we're going to do that at every tier as we work our way down to the one star. So you'll be able to see the totals, the rankings, and everything at each tier. Uh, I know some people are interested in that type of information. And we're also going to show you uh, my mastery setup. I have a separate video that deals with my masteries, but I figure I can at least show you what my masteries look like currently, uh, but they're not going to be that much different from uh, the video. And I'll probably make an updated mastery uh, video soon. All right, so let's start with the six stars here. And uh, no face cam because this is about my roster uh, and my account. So I want uh, to keep everyone's attention there and not to get distracted. So as you can see, I have one rank two currently, and that's Omega Red. Uh, no, he is not awakened. And no, I do not regret it. Uh, you can do a search on my video and see him in action. I also take him every war with me. Uh, you also have Guillotine 2099 who is also quite good, great counter for flow, but season 19 may see the end of flow. So I don't know what my team is gonna look like. Uh, you also have Wasp who is great. She has a wonderful synergy with Ghost who I have as a five star. And let's keep going down here. We'll ignore that Diablo. Yes, Anthony. Yes, Hyena. Ignoring the Diablo. Uh, Venom the Duck. Awesome champion, love him, all right? And uh, I don't have a bad six-star roster, but there are a lot of champions that I currently don't have that I would love to get, all right? So those are my six stars. And you may think that I cried when I pulled that six-star group, but you'd be wrong. I was very happy because he was a new champion and it was more points in the arena. I'm all about getting new six stars. They give me more points in the arena. Love them. All right, let's move down here to the five stars. All right, so you can see I'm sorting them by their ranking. Make sure I still have it there. Okay, good. So at the top, going down, you will see my maxed out five stars. Uh, and again, off to the right, you see the breakdown of each of these. Now, my rank fives, I don't rank up champions purely for prestige, usually. But prestige matters. So I have been ranking up, like I ranked up uh, Thor Ragnarok, that was a purely prestige rank up everyone else I had fun fighting with even Phoenix um, and so I tried to do both I wanted to rank up for prestige and for fun now Quake she is powerful and so I ranked her up to two I mean uh, to five however I don't really enjoy fighting that particular style all right and you can see that ghost, just a beast. All right, so all of my rank fives are pretty fun to play for me. Uh, I just recently pulled that warlock and I love him to death. All right, and we'll just keep going down so that you guys can see my rank fours and uh, my rank threes here. Now, I want to get everyone to rank three. Ignore that hit monkey. He's there temporarily as part of the content creator program. So he is not counted in the um, breakdown, okay? But in any case, I want to get all of my champions to at least rank three, but I ran out of resources. So most of them are, you know, rank three and above. 
all of my science champions are rank three and above, but still had a few, but then they dropped the abyss. That changed my plan slightly because I don't have the resources to just keep ranking up uh, all of these champions to rank three. And I don't have any, as you will see, any of the four horsemen. Uh, the four horsemen for the abyss, that would be Dr. Doom, Nick Fury, it would be Aegon, and Human Torch. You will not see any of them in my roster. All right. And we're down here to the rank twos now. But I need to save my resources just in case I get them. Now, you see that Tigra, she is the only one currently at rank one because I just got her in the arena. Uh, I grinded for her, put up a crazy high score, ranked 51. And I don't rank up champions or level up champions unless there is a level up event on uh, so that I can make the most of my level ups. I can get those units uh, if I play it that way. So she's still rank one only because we haven't had a level up. Next level up, she's going up. All right, let's take a look here at my four stars. Now, I have every four star that you can get from a crystal that is currently in the game. And I also have a couple of trophy champions as well. And uh, we'll take a look at the uh, champions that I don't have uh, towards the end of this uh, tour here. All right, now, recently, someone asked me, do I still rank up four stars? Yes, I do, uh, but it's situational. The most recent rank ups were She-Hulk and Mr. Fantastic. Why? Because I had six science catalysts in my overflow t4 class catalyst in my overflow and i didn't have any five star that i wanted to take up to four or five and i didn't have any six star that i was willing to use those uh resources on you know wasp is a great candidate for uh rank two but i didn't want to use up my uh, T2 alphas in case I get one of the four horsemen. I'm going to want to take them right on up. So that's what's been stopping me there. So instead, I ranked up two four stars and I still use them in the arena. They still give me more points and help me get champions that I may want. All right. So we're just going to keep going and you may see uh, I think I have Kang and Immortal Iron Fist as my trophy champions. I don't have the red uh, Deadpool. All right. Uh, another question that people often ask me about my roster, uh, sort of indirectly, is am I free to play? And that's usually the wrong question to ask. And the reason why is because they want to know about my progression. How do I progress? Uh, how did I build this roster? Well, it took years and it did not take money. Okay, there's the four star Tigra that I just got. Um, you see off uh, to the bottom left there, there's that Kang uh, that I pulled from uh, the gifting event, one of the gifting crystals. All right, and uh, of course I had the immortal Iron Fist that you saw earlier. Uh, let's see what champions I don't have. All right. So let's scroll all the way down here. And you'll see what four stars I do not currently have. All right. There we go. So like I said, Red Deadpool, don't have him. Hit Monkey, I don't have because he's not available to me just yet, uh, except in those crystals. Uh, Thanos, I never got. And Hulkbuster, this Hulkbuster, if you notice that B, that's a Hulkbuster beta. 
Hulkbuster got reworked and his changes are not yet live. And this is how they do it. So we have regular Hulkbuster in the game, but then there's this Hulkbuster beta. Once his changes go live, that's going to go away and you're just going to have Hulkbuster. So in actuality, there are only three four stars that I don't have. Uh, and Hitmonkey is not currently uh, in the game for me anyway, because I'm not buying any early access crystals or anything like that. So Deadpool and Thanos really are the only two that I don't currently have. Uh, Hulkbuster, of course, not in the game yet as the beta form that you see there. All right. So let's go back to owned and let's go to the three stars. And it's a very similar situation. Uh, the three stars, I have pretty much all the three stars that you can get. And I pretty much max them out. Now, what I do with my three stars, I will wait to rank them up until I have a need to use them to get units in the solo event for the level up. So if I don't have a five star that I want to take up and perhaps I don't have a four star that I want to take up, maybe I want to save my resources uh, to do something later, then I'll go to one of my three stars and rank them up. Okay, so most of what you're going to see here is maxed out three stars, but not all of them. I've gotten some recent ones, and uh, as you can see there, Black Widow and Longshot are the only two that I currently don't have maxed out. Uh, Black Widow, relatively new, but what I will do is, you know, say a level up event comes on, and I don't have a five star, I don't have a four star I want to take up. I will go to these guys and max them out. If there's a mystic advancement going on or a skill advancement going on, I can double dip. That's when I'll level these guys up. Okay, so they're basically just there waiting. All right, let's get down to the two stars. And there are a lot of two stars that I do not have. We'll take a look at that uh, in a minute here. But... I recently got a lot of two stars, a lot of new two stars. I still get excited because I'm a collector. So I like collecting these two stars. And there's no telling whether Kabam will make more content like Variant 4 uh, where you need your two stars. So we don't know what the future holds, but I'll be ready because I love collecting these guys. All right. So you can see most of them are maxed out. Uh, these guys, it's the same situation as the three stars. I will max them out when I have a need during a level up. And I believe my two star gladiator Hulk, I just took up recently because I needed a little bit of extra. There was a science advancement and a level up at the same time. So it was a perfect time to take them up. And you see uh, Spider-Man uh, stealth suit there. I took him up only far enough to... You know, um, there was a, an advancement, a skill advancement, and I took him just enough that I could get the uh, units, and then I left him there. And he'll go up later. And so, as you see, all the rest of these guys here, they're just waiting for that right combination. You know, level up, advancement, and I don't have anyone else that I want to take up. All right, so let's take a look here at the ones that I don't have. All right. So these are the two stars that I can still get from these two star crystals. As you can see, there's quite a few of them that I don't have yet. Uh, now that hit monkey that you see there, I've redeemed him from the uh, Marvel Insider. So he's going to be in my roster as soon as they deliver him. Uh, I believe the same thing with the three star Tigra. Uh, you wouldn't have seen the three star Tigra in that uh, three-star showcase, but she's coming also thanks to the uh, Marvel Insider. All right, and finally, 
we've got the one stars. And that's pretty much it. That's all my one stars. Okay. So now to, to end the video here, we'll take a look at the mastery setup. All right. There's my offensive tree. Uh, if you're wondering why I don't put max uh, precision here, it's because I run with Corvus mainly and he doesn't benefit from that. And I valued courage a little bit more than that one extra point. But I've had builds where I max that out and put no points in courage. All right. There are my suicide masteries. I run them all the time, uh, except if I have to place for defense and we're serious about war, then I'll turn them off. But I only change my offensive tree. So it takes me about 60 units in order to uh, switch this out and then place my defenders and uh, get it back. And at the bottom here, I normally max out despair, but I wanted to try out uh, this one where I only put one in despair, one in deep wounds, and one in assassin. And this works out great as well. However, I will probably go back to maxing out despair uh, the first time I need to switch out to place my defenders. So that might be next season uh, sometime. All right, here's my defensive tree. And I don't really change this at all. So that's going to be the same. And my proficiencies, again, I don't change this at all. And you may wonder about limber. Uh, there was a time where I wasn't sure if that was worth the points or not. They're worth it. Uh, when I am doing Alliance Quest, I often take my Corvus into the fight with Vision, who is a uh, Prove Yourself, Mesmerize, and this is valuable. I mean, I can't do it without having this. Because what this allows me to do in that fight, I will get, you know, they'll evade and I'll get stunned. But because of maxed out limber, uh, and I don't know whether you can do it with, you know, less than maxed out, you might be able to, but I'm able to block before they attack me. And that is essential for doing that fight. I have tried it with one point in limber and it did not work out well for me. All right. But that's going to do it, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. That is my account tour. Feel free to leave a comment, a question. If you have a question, uh, feel free to ask that question in the comment section below. Uh, I read all the comments, so uh, I will answer you. You can also join my Discord server. You'll find that information in the description of the video. And if you haven't subscribed already to me, feel free to give me a subscription. And you all have a blessed day.